nights here, Jay Leno, Mr. Tonight Show, comes in here on Sunday nights, does a little workouts and material and stuff like that, little monologue for the Tonight Show and all that type of deal. I say, well, he's not the only person that can write a little joke, for crying out loud, for a little monologue. I, myself, today, at my home in Long Beach, California, where I make my home, which, very deceiving, by the way, because it has the word beach in the title, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm from San Diego originally, and I moved out to Long Beach to be where the show business is. And I figure, oh, it's beach. It's got beach. No, this is beach. Hermosa Beach, beach living. Long Beach, ho oh, ho, long ghetto. Come on, stop kidding. <laughs> so, so for you people tonight, I thought this is what I'll do. I will put together my own monologue for a show that goes on Monday through Friday that can only be seen in my head. Uh, but tonight, for you people, I wrote jokes that will never be used before, haven't been used before this. Matter of fact, at the end of this particular thing, I'm going to hand them to you so I won't be doing them for those bastards of the 915 show. What do you think of that? <laughs> Just for you people. Now, here's the deal. Written jokes. I wrote these jokes today. Now, because I wrote these jokes today, I don't have them memorized, but if I was on a big time show like tonight's show, I'd have a teleprompter or some cue cards, so just bear with me. It's just us here in Hermosa Beach, all right? All right, so this is Lamont Ferguson's tonight's show monologue. How about that? Huh? All right, uh, joke number one. President Bush was asked recently what he thought of Hillary Clinton as a presidential candidate. He said that he thought that she would be a formidable opponent. A formidable opponent. When he was asked to elaborate, Bush said she's somewhere between three minimal and five minimal. I like it. For you people tonight. The fast food chain KFC is being sued for its fat content in its fried chicken. The Center for Science and Public Interest says the chicken contains staggering amounts of trans fat. Let's take a look at this. The restaurant is called Kentucky Fried Chicken. If you're ordering your food by the bucket, I'm gonna say health is not your main concern. The restaurant issued a statement saying, if you think the amount of fat is staggering, wait till you see how little chicken we actually use. <laughs> For you people, tonight. <laughs> Scientists say that the atmosphere will take longer than previously expected to recover uh, from the uh, pollution and repair its ozone hole. Uh, the thinning in the ozone will not be repaired until 2065, as opposed to 2050, which is what was previously expected. In the meantime, the Earth will grow extra ozone at the equator, then comb it over <laughs> to the thin spots for that natural look. I don't know if you saw this, an Air National Guard F-16 fighter jet accidentally fired 25 rounds of ammunition into the parking lot of a junior high school. Yes, the, uh, the school was three and a half miles away from the plane's original target. Uh, the military is looking into it. They're gonna figure out what exactly took place. Of course, this being an American school, the students did manage to return fire. <laughs> My show, much funnier than Carson Daly. Now look, I don't know if you heard about this guy, Wim Duesenberg, this is kind of sad news, Wim Duesenberg passed away recently. I don't know if you know who that is, but Wim Duesenberg was the uh, former European Central Bank chief who helped create the Euro currency. And he died rather recently in southeastern France. He was 70, which is about a 101 US. <laughs> Get your own show, get your own show. Get your own show, all right? <laughs> like the guy, you could have saved that one. Like that ruined his entire night. Oh, damn it, this is horrible. 
A 40-year-old woman is being studied by neurobiologists because of her near-perfect memory. Uh, the woman says that she has the ability to recall nearly every detail in her life and that it is a blessing and she does not want to lose it. Uh, to protect her identity, researchers are simply calling her AJ. Her ex-husband refers to her as that know-it-all bitch that just won't let things go. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> How you doing? Ain't that a shame? The one brother and he's late. God damn it. <laughs> I've been here all week. Never seen another brother in here. One shows up late. Damn. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Just because that, I, I know I promised it to you, I'm going to give it to him uh, when it's over. So you can catch up on the jokes you missed. <laughs> Teachers at a nursery school in Oxfordshire, England are asking children to change the words of the nursery rhyme Ba Ba Black Sheep to Ba Ba Rainbow Sheep to avoid offending anyone. The only problem now is everyone will think the sheep is gay. And I don't know if you heard, this is, uh, this is kind of odd. A man aboard a United Airlines flight from San Francisco was stung by a scorpion. On his right leg, right below the knee, the scorpion then crawled down that leg, up his left leg, stung him again on the shins. And uh, United Airlines issued a statement saying they are investigating the matter, see how this happened. Samuel L. Jackson released a statement saying he's tired of these motherfucking scorpions on these motherfucking planes. <laughs> and finally, ladies and gentlemen, are the jokes that I wrote just for you and only you this evening. Pentagon officials, uh, this, is, this is huge news, Pentagon officials finally had to come out and admit plans for a gay bomb. Yeah, they were working on a so-called gay bomb. The hormone bomb would purportedly turn enemy soldiers into homosexuals and make them more interested in having sex than in fighting. That's what they were spending our tax dollars on. The bomb was under a file called Weapons of Ass Destruction. <laughs> That is for you, my brother. Jokes just for you fine people here tonight.